Hello, good afternoon from the 3V students. I hope you're finding it good in this corona period. Um, so sorry we can't meet physically, but thank God for the power of the internet. At least we can have something valuable um, just with your phone. So the topic we're going to be doing today is um, light and shade, the play of light and shade on an object. So the only thing you're going to need is you're going to need to be attentive, just like in the last class we had drawing. So so we're gonna move into make, bringing our drawing to life and I know that's the fun part all of you have been waiting for so let's jump right into it so apart from your screen you're gonna be needing a pencil a charcoal pencil I'm recommending generous um, um, generous charcoal pencil the mediums and um, the medium type and also you're gonna be needing a needed eraser just this type it's so gummy that's why it's different from your normal eraser it's, it's a quality one and you can always re-need it i've been using this one for about two months now so when it gets so dirty you can chop up little of it like a clay and clean so you should be able to do this at the end of the day by the time you're done you should be able to produce um an image that will have light and shade but we're going to be using to explain this we're going to be using a ball this is my ball we're going to be using a ball and i will show you how light works on the image so you will see me demonstrating this is the ball we're going to be drawing so let's swipe into the class what you're seeing currently in this video on your screen is an image of a ball now um, what defines in this video i will be making you to understand the elements that defines that the artist should watch out for while drawing the first thing you should consider is where is your light source coming from from this image you're seeing your right your, your light source is from the right hand side which is defining where your shadow will be the shadow is on the opposite side of the light family so basically we have the light family and the shadow family i hope you're with me yeah so in the light family there are some elements you should watch out for this includes the highlight the mid tone yeah all of those you should watch out for them in the light family so highlight and mid tone you should watch out for that now in the shadow family which is the opposite of the light family you should watch out for the occlusion shadow all of them are all in the shadow there is the cast shadow that's the shadow the the object um the, the shadow that has been casted from the object to the surface on which the object is sitting and now we have the occlusion shadow we have um, the ambient light we have the we have the reflected light so the reflected light is that little kind of light that differentiates the object when it's sitting down to objects we're drawing from its background so basically you should have it in mind that you are creating um, your image with the use of light and the effect of light on an object causes light and shade so now I'm going to be demonstrating how I view objects and how I interpret them into a drawing. So let's get started. This is what we end up with at the end of the um, the show, the class. I hope it's been a, a fun,ful one for you. So you've seen how light plays on just a circular shape. I hope to see you some other times. You can send in your send in your question, and I will try my best to answer it. Thank you.